being the church. Our presider this morning is Archbishop Hunt, and our gathering hymn is number 6.31 in Celebrate in Song, Christ Be Our Light, number 6.31. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people. Light for the world to see. Christ be our light. Shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Longing for peace, our world is troubled. Longing for hope, many despair. Your word alone has power to save us, make us your living. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gathered today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. We come together as we enter into Holy Week to give God praise and to ask for his assistance in our needs. That we may do so worthily, we pause to call to mind his goodness and to ask forgiveness for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice, or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed 
until he has established justice in the earth and the coastlands wait for his teaching. Thus says the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm refrain is, the Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Aloud. Be gracious to me and answer me. Come, my heart says, seek his face. Your face, Lord, do I seek. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You who have been my help, do not cast me off. Do not forsake me, O God of my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage Wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Hail to you, our King. You alone showed mercy for us. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, 
Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom they had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The readings of today and Tuesday and Wednesday are specifically chosen to prepare us for the celebration of the Sacred Triduum. The first readings are taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah, and they're the suffering servant psalms. Uh, they speak, speak specifically about this servant of the Lord who is coming. It's a prophecy of Christ, and we see it fulfilled in his passion, death, and resurrection. And in the gospel passages, we see the motives that are leading the high priests and the scribes and the Pharisees to want Jesus' death. And we see how they are proceeding uh, with preparing uh, to arrest Jesus. The gospel today, uh, Jesus is at a feast given by his friends, uh, Lazarus and, and Martha and Mary, and we're told that Mary anoints his feet with nard. And Judas Iscariot asks why this money hasn't been given to the poor. And it reminds me of a story I heard about Mother Teresa. Um, back in the 60s, uh, Pope uh, Paul VI visited India and visited her, and uh, he was gifted uh, with a, um, uh, I think it was a Cadillac, but some big luxury vehicle that was used during his uh, tour in India, uh, so he could stand up in the back and wave at the people. So when he left India, he gave it, he gave the keys to Mother Teresa and said she could have it. So she immediately, um, went and uh, put, up, uh, uh, put it up for, um, uh, on a lottery, uh, sold tickets uh, for buying it, and, and made a bunch of money uh, that way and raffling it off. And she used part of the money from the sale uh, of the uh, Cadillac uh, to buy uh, a, large, uh, a very precious, uh, expensive chalice. And somebody questioned her on why she would have spent the money on this rather than using all of it for the poor. And she basically quoted today's gospel passage, that we have the poor with us always and certainly we need to care for them, which is what she and her sisters do. But the Lord, when he is with us, we need to recognize him and we need to give him due honor and praise. As we continue in our Mass today and as we continue in this Holy Week, it is a time for us to become more and more aware of how much we owe the Lord, how good he is to us. As the psalmist says that he, the Lord is our light and our salvation, and to give him the praise that is due to him so that in all the other things that we do, we may give him praise by our working, by our living, as he himself lived. God bless you.
One of the ways we serve the Lord is through the prayers that we offer for the needs of others. And so let us stand and offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. We pray for our Pope and for all of our religious and civil leaders, that they may always be open to God's guidance and may seek to serve those in need through their office. For this, we pray to the Lord. We pray for ourselves and for all who have received the gift of faith, that receiving such a great gift, we may seek day by day to nourish that faith and grow in it. For this, we pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick and the suffering, for those that are struggling with persecution and war and oppression of any kind, that in the midst of their trials, they may feel the Lord's presence and that he is their light and salvation. For this, we pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith, that they may have eternal rest with God in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Let us pause for a moment to bow our heads and offer our own personal intentions. For all of these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear the prayers that we offer you this morning, both those we have spoken aloud and those that are in our hearts, for they are offered through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand and praise the glory of his name. For our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incurred bear for us fruit and eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Oh. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John the Baptist, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, be your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion, a prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, for you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. To ensure that the reception of Holy Communion takes place in a safe and respectful manner, we ask that you please follow these instructions. Please remain standing in your pew until invited forward by an usher. Ensure your face mask is correctly worn before coming forward and maintain a two meter so distance in the communion line. As you approach the line, sanitize your hands before receiving Holy Communion. After responding, Amen, and after receiving Holy Communion, Please step aside to consume the host and return to your pew as directed by ushers. Those unable to receive Holy Communion in the hand may come forward to receive a blessing.
Our communion hymn is number 6.6 .6 in Celebrate in Song, One Love Released, number 6.6. .6. One bread, one body, one cup, one call, <clears throat> one faith, one spirit, present in us all, one prayer, one blessing, one hope, one One church, one people, one love released. One bread, one body, one cup, one call, one faith, one spirit present in us all. One prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace, one church, one people, one love released. Is not this bread we share, the body of our Lord? Is not this wine we drink, the blood of Christ outpoured? One bread, one body, one cup, one call. One faith, one spirit, present in us all. One prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace, one church, one people, one love.
Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received through Christ our Lord. I invite you to join with me in praying the prayer of Pope Francis to Mary for help and protection during the coronavirus pandemic. O Mary, Mary, you always always shine shine on our our path path, as a sign sign of salvation salvation and of hope. We We entrust entrust ourselves ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping keeping your faith firm. firm. You, salvation salvation of your people, know what we need. We are are sure sure you will provide, so that, as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Under your protection we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. The Lord with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May your protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble and keep ever safe those who trust in your mercy, that they may celebrate the Paschal festivities not only with bodily observance, but above all with purity of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning hymn is number 439 in the Catholic Book of Worship. The Master Came to Bring Good News, number 439. Master came to bring good news, the news of love and freedom, to heal the sick and seek the poor, to build the peaceful kingdom. Father, forgive us through Jesus. Christ, the man who lived for others. The law of Christ is serving love, our sisters and our brothers. Father, forgive